Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to tie my white bead olive nymph. It's one of my favourite trout and grayling flies for clear water. It took so many fish for me over the years. I think I probably first came up with it about three years ago, maybe it's four years ago. And it's just been deadly ever since. So let's show you how to tie it. So the hook, I'm going to be using a Fulham Mill Jig Force, size 14. The bead is a white bead, obviously. It's um, a 3.2 millimeter slotted tungsten bead. Well, let's begin. in the vice all right then right so the thread I'm using is an olive silk it's like a nano silk I'll start off by starting the thread behind the bead work my way back just to where the hook point is off the excess for the tail I'm using grey microfibers I want three or four fibers from it cut them off I want the tail I don't really like a long tail so I want it maybe from the bead to the end of the hook shank, hook shank. I'll just place it on, tighten down, cut off the excess. Now the rib, the rib I'm using, it's a hen's wire. It's sort of a cross between a gold and silver. Um, I'll give you the number, it's in size 0.18 and the number is CWM slash zero six if you're interested so i'll pull the length off tie it in work my way back to the start of the tail that's the ribbon right so the body i'm using a antron dubbin it's a hair's ear it's from tron river I got this given to us by a friend of mine and I must say it's it's magic. It's amazing stuff. So I'll take a pinch of it. <coughs> Wrap it around me silk. Tie up the shank. Get a nice tape as you work your way up. I have a little bit too much on there. That'll be alright. Spin this bead around. There we go. Right, so now I'll start ribbing the, my way up. You want about five or six ribbon turns. Tie it off. Now spin the wire till it breaks. There we go. Right, now for the thorax. I'm using scroll from SLF Spiky Dubbin in dark olive. So I'll take a pinch of this. It comes out quite in a, it's like a ball. Just pull it apart so you can work it onto your thread. Get it on your thread there. Now straight behind the eye, work your way around. 
That should be enough. Now our whip finish. I'll cut your thread off. I like to use my dubbing nasal to pull a few fibers out from the thorax just to give it more of a buggy look. I'll pull a few out. It's it's a really effective fly this. I urge anyone to tie a few up. Like I say, it's probably been my most effective fly over the last three or four years. I think the white bead has something to do with it. Cause everyone these days is using gold, silver, black. I mean, they all work fine, but I, I think in clear water, the white bead, it, it's just on a different level, if you ask me. I've fished all different types of flies, but clear water, you can't beat white beads. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, give it a go. I promise it'll, it'll work. Trust us. Thanks again.